The much discussed optical unit split in two, the so-called split face, now seems to be at the end of its days. A new stylistic era is about to arrive at KTM, at least judging by the spy photos circulating on the net. The first pictures of the next one KTM Super Adventure, they date back to last November 2022, but in recent days other images that appeared on the forum. EU forum and taken from social networks and sector publications have been added. The element that immediately catches the eye concerns precisely the front which, as in the case of the Super Duke paparazzi in a prototype guise already last autumn, abandons the element divided lengthwise in two for a new structure based on two LED projectors arranged one above the other. In particular, in the new images of the Super Adventure, the front appears to be even more developed with the daytime running lights forming a sort of LED frame. Furthermore, a cover on the upper lamp suggests the presence of the radar sensor more integrated into the design of the front compared to the current one. They are also original large integrated turn signals which could also have a cornering function. The images suggest that there is no glass to cover the entire optical group and therefore the new face of the KTM 1390 Super Duke could be just that. Sure, cleaning it from the midges will be fun. We think it could also increase the hissing but we'll remain in doubt until we have it before our eyes. The 125 Duke was KTM's first shot at a small Duke and the 2023 machine is largely unaltered from the design that debuted a dozen years ago in 2011. It's all change for 2024, though, with a completely new small-capacity Duke range that starts with the comprehensively redesigned 125. As before, the 125 Duke shares its central structure with the larger 390 Duke and the 250 Duke that isn't offered in the UK market, but there are visual clues to pick out the smaller machine. Slightly slimmer side panels jut forward from the sides of the tank, for instance, and the 125 Duke's new LED headlight, while sharing the revamped family look of the 2024 390 Duke, is shorn of the glitzy DRL strips on the nose panels that flank it. Beyond that, there's little clue that you're riding the Learner Legal 125 instead of its much more powerful sister model, and while it can't match the 390's performance, the smaller bike has a nearly identical chassis promising class-leading handling. Renewing ITS commitment to big thrills in the small CC market, KTM has just announced its completely reworked single-cylinder Duke models for 2024. Boasting revamped LC4C power plants, a new chassis and sharper aesthetics, the new Duke 390, 250 and 125 models continue to deliver class-leading technology and hooliganism in the entry-level naked bike scene. The 2024 Dukes are based on an all-new, two-piece chassis, consisting of a lightweight steel trellis frame with a die-cast aluminum subframe improving torsional rigidity and enhancing road feedback the Austrians say. The swing arm is also redesigned for 24, as it contours around a new offset rear shock, which allows for a lower seat height. The company is coming up with its newest 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 1050. With a design appropriate for people who enjoy adventure on two wheels, the motorbike represents a major upgrade. See more below about the new 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 1050 model. What's new in the new 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 1050? Before, let's give some information about the arrival of the model in USA. The debut of the 2024 Suzuki V-Strom 1050 in USA lands will happen soon, although the priority is to launch the new model in Europe. In this way, admirers of Suzuki motorcycles need to wait a bit. Meanwhile, we already have relevant information about performance, which has a super modern and innovative structure. Tires, in turn, bring an important modification. On Suzuki's newest model, they are mixed-use, so they can adapt to any type of soil. With regard to the engine, we cannot fail to mention, for example, the bold and modern accessories. 
The windshield, then, has been revised in attention to the modernity that the company wants to reinforce. Honda has decided to drop the veil on its latest CBF concept motorcycle. The CBF concept was supposed to make its debut at the Osaka Motorcycle Show and Tokyo Motor Show in this month, but due to COVID-19 outbreak, Honda has been forced to reveal the concept motorcycle on an online platform. The CBF concept is a throwback special that pays homage to the Honda CB900F naked motorcycle from the early 1980s. As a result, the design is retro, the bike features a classic round headlamp, a flattish fuel tank, and a simple tail section. The matte silver paint scheme with blue and gray stripes look rather cool. The megaphone designed exhaust is another retro touch. While the design of the bike is a few decades old, everything else is modern, the CBF concept features the same modern mechanicals as the company's leader class Neosports Cafe bike, the CB1000R. The chassis looks similar and the concept features the same upside-down front forks and a single-sided swing arm along with a monoshock at the rear wheel. Powering the CBF concept is the same 998 cubic centimeters inline four-cylinder engine as the CB1000R. In the CB1000R, the engine develops 143 brake horsepower and 104 newton meters of torque, and it's paired to a six-speed transmission. At the moment, Honda hasn't confirmed if they plan to put the CBF concept into production. The new 2024 Honda CB400 concept was digitally conceived to bring to life the imagination of what the highly anticipated Honda CB400 would look like in the 2024 model year. This creation represents a bold approach by Honda, which seeks to be at the forefront of innovation and revolutionary design. Innovative and bold design. The design of the new 2024 Honda CB400 concept is a true example of aesthetic engineering, combining bold elements and futuristic lines. Every detail has been carefully thought out to offer a unique and attractive visual experience. The motorcycle's fluid, aggressive body shapes convey a sense of speed and dynamism, while the integrated LED headlamps provide a sharp, modern look. Advanced Technical Specifications The new 2024 Honda CB400 concept features advanced technical specifications that promise high performance and efficiency. Although the exact information about the engine is merely conceptual, the bike is expected to be equipped with a latest generation engine, capable of delivering exceptional power and torque. State-of-the-art technology employed in the fuel injection system and electronic management will provide an enhanced driving experience. High Performance Wheels The new 2024 Honda CB400 concept wheels are designed to offer a perfect combination of stability and agility. The 2024 Honda NT1100 is the perfect bike for those looking for a bolder style. Despite not having significant changes compared to the previous model, the new version features two novelties. 102 horsepower. Torque of 2.6 kg FM. In this way, the driver can choose between driving urban and rain modes. That's because the Japanese automaker Honda invested in a new suspension, which has an inverted fork and a single-arm rear. However, even having a more robust look, the Honda NT1100 is sophisticated and technological. In addition, it has a 100% digital panel that is touch-sensitive and a 5.0-inch screen. At first, the Japanese automaker will offer two versions of the Honda NT1100. Are they? Manual. DCT transmission. Consumption 2024 Honda NT1100. Currently, every driver, when changing vehicles, is concerned with fuel-related expenses. In this sense, it is interesting to talk about the average consumption of 2024 NT1100. At first, 
the NT1100 operates at 20 km per liter of fuel. However, it is important to note that this average may vary depending on how the rider drives the motorcycle. Standard Items and Equipment 2024 NT1100 The new Suzuki GSX S1000T looks like a bona fide Kawasaki vs. 1000 killer. Back in 2021, Suzuki stirred the pot with an interesting trademark filing for a new 1000 cubic centimeters motorcycle, dubbed the GSX S1000T. It would sit between the GSX S1000 and the GSX S1000 GT, serving duty as an inline for adventure tourer to rival the Kawasaki vs. 1000. Though Suzuki has remained tight-lipped since then, it looks like the Japanese giant is finally ready to launch the new Gixxer soon. We say this because the first-ever spy shots of the ADV Tourer have now surfaced on the internet, revealing plenty of juicy details. These also hint at an imminent launch by the end of 2023. While we can't use the images, copyright violations for the win, the most noteworthy element in the spy shots is the design. Unlike the naked, the T flaunts brawny bodywork, complete with a massive top bearing and edgy side panels. No, these don't come from the GSX S1000 GT and feature an all new shape to set it out from the rest. Also, there's no lower cowl here, as seen on the GT. Other than this, a closer look reveals a new headlight and windscreen. Three variants of Versus 1000 will be available to European customers in 2024 with standard S and SE models on offer and two new color options available across what amounts to 12 model options. Offering an entry point into the exciting leader class versus 1000 stable, the standard model of Versus shares many of the attributes of the other two machines in the range including assist and slipper clutch, electronic cruise control, three-mode Kawasaki traction control plus selectable power modes and integrated anti-lock braking. Additionally, like each machine in the range, the standard machine is also available in a number of addition model types from Kawasaki dealers covering Tourer, Tourer Plus, and Grand Tourer making the overall range option an impressive 12 models. A midpoint in the range, the Versus 1000S replaces the analog-style meter of the standard machine with a full-color TFT display that can also be paired via Bluetooth to the rider's smartphone relaying a vast array of information via the Kawasaki Radiology app. As part of an overall specification that includes an IMU enhanced electronics package, the S adopts a dual direction quick shifter plus LED cornering lights and rider selectable integrated riding modes. And from a practical perspective, a large height adjustable windscreen, handguards and grip heaters all feature in the specification. Topping out the three machine range, plus addition variants, is the Versus 1000 SE encompassing all of the advanced electronic, technical and engineering features of the S model adding an extra layer of rider convenience via the adoption of Showa electronically damped suspension. The 2024 Yamaha Tenere 700 has a few thoughtful, useful updates for the new year. These include a new 5-inch color TFT display with two different display options, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity, LED turn signals front and rear, and three ABS modes. The bike will be available in Team Yamaha Blue in September 2023 or Shadow Gray in October 2023. MSRP starts at $10,799. Other 2024 returning Yamaha models include the Super Tenera ES, XT250, and TW200. These bikes see no changes in the specification for the new year. New interface, the T7 now features a 5-inch color TFT display on the front, accompanied by a scrolling dial on the right handlebar to control it. Riders can choose between two display options, modern or retro analog-style design. 
Additionally, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity via the Y-Connect app allows riders to receive text and phone call notifications on the dashboard and record ride data for later analysis. LED Turn Signals The 2024 Tenerife 700 now comes with LED turn signals both in the front and rear, enhancing visibility and adding a modern touch to the bike. Named after the Japanese term for Peregrine Falcon, which Suzuki says also inspired the bike's wind-cheating body, the 2024 Suzuki Hayabusa returns with the liquid-cooled 1,340 cubic centimeters transverse inline 4 with DOHC and 4 valves per cylinder. When we road-tested the 2022 Hayabusa, it made 173 horsepower at 9,800 rpm and 106 lbft of torque at 6,900 rpm on Jet Tuning's rear-wheel dyno. While the Hayabusa's ergonomics are not ideal for long days in the saddle, its creamy smooth engine transmits very little vibration to the rider, and its enormous boxy mufflers keep noise to a dull roar, our reviewer wrote. When hard on the gas, the four-piece band plays a lively tune, but otherwise the Suzuki sounds relaxed and understressed. The 2024 Suzuki Hayabusa also has a six-speed gearbox mated to a SAS-style clutch system, Suzuki Ram Air Direct Intakes for pressurized air induction, ride-by-wire, the Suzuki Intelligent Ride System with electronic rider aids, including cruise control and the three-mode bi-directional quickshifter system, and three preset and three customizable ride modes, among a host of other features.